It was meant to be a surprise dream vacation to Disney World in Orlando. A half birthday, half graduation present from Taylor Jones to his girlfriend. We're big kids at heart too, so. <laughs> then the trip was canceled by WestJet. It had been purchased pre-pandemic. But once it was full blown, Jones started to try and get his money back. After months of talking on the phone, the couple were offered WestJet dollars, credits with the airline that carry a 24 month expiration date. This is tough times for everybody, like just trying to be kind and understanding of everybody. So I really tried to work with them, but just it felt like a big betrayal is what it came down to. The problem is WestJet's not allowed to only offer credits. That's illegal, not just here in BC, not just in Canada, but in the United States as well. The rules are clear in BC's Consumer Protection Act, Canada's Air Passenger Protection Regulations, and the US Department of Transportation's recent enforcement notice. The couple is entitled to a full refund. WestJet's position is based on the misconception that somehow the airline can override the law. This air passenger rights advocate says, despite what WestJet says, policy doesn't trump law. Airlines that cancel flights to or from the United States are required by U.S. law to provide a full refund. Period and full stop. It's not a secret that airlines are facing difficult times. Ask an industry expert and they'll give it to you straight. Oh, I think it's, it's dire is the simple word. And Professor Gillen says there are simple reasons why airlines want to hold on to your money. Airlines operate on cash flow and this allows them to keep the cash. I think the second reason is, is they want to keep the customer. And so if that customer essentially has Air Canada or WestJet dollars rather than Canadian dollars, then they don't have the freedom to spend on other kinds of activities. In a statement, WestJet said its decision to offer credits is backed up by the Canadian Transportation Agency's notice in April that airlines can temporarily offer credits due to the pandemic. But the CTA says it was merely a suggestion and anyone unhappy with a credit can file a complaint. WestJet also said we have been processing refunds to original form of payment for guests holding some international itineraries that were cancelled by WestJet due to the crisis, which should include Jones and Lynn Boehm. But when asked whether the couple would receive their refund, WestJet didn't respond. It's not our responsibility as a consumer to to help to bail them out on this and the fact that they didn't even give us an option was even more frustrating. So the couple will wait and continue to push for the refund they deserve. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.